Hello, DSLAB student here, and today we're doing Ugly Carpet Band-Aid. As you can see, there's a green rug smack dab in the middle of my nasty carpet. The green rug is brand new after I attempted to carpet clean a dog mess, and I really did a terrible job, so I bought the rug to cover it up. Today we're going to try carpet cleaning it one more time. So I'm vacuuming up, having my daughter come in and help me grab stuff underneath the couch. And then I'm also going to scrub the floor just a little bit with some water and soap and bleach. I don't know what I'm doing. But when I tried carpet cleaning the other day, it seemed to make the brown spot bigger and drag out. So I grabbed this bucket here and I'm going to try to suck up some water. If I suck up the water into the carpet cleaner, it might clear out some of the brown stuff that's stuck in the crevices of the carpet cleaner. It didn't fit in the first bucket, so I'm getting that lid there, poured some water, and now making that lid nice and perfectly wonderful. Now I want you to watch how this works. Whenever I carpet clean, I seem to make whatever mess that's on the ground bigger. You saw what it looked like before, right? Do you see that stripe to the right? It's really frustrating to me. So I grab my soap, I grab a sponge, and I start scrubbing by hand. This carpet cleaner is not working for me. I don't know how to use it properly, I guess, so we're gonna see if scrubbing it makes it better. As I'm scrubbing these spots that I see on the floor, I think that it's actually starting to get cleaned up a bit. I can see it looking a lot cleaner from my perspective. I'm not so sure if you would agree with that. Looking at this video playback, I think I'm making it worse. And it's not until I start trying to do the carpet cleaner again that I realize it is making it worse. This thing just keeps dragging the dirt around. I think there's dirt inside the suction part of the carpet cleaner and the dirt is probably coming up from the surface of the nasty carpet. There's only so much a band-aid can help with this room. We definitely need new carpet. As I scrub the floor away, I can smell the delicious food coming from the kitchen. Yes, my husband is making dinner. We sit down to eat dinner for just a second and after dinner, I'm looking at these nasty floors and seeing the bleach spots that I had scrubbed into them. And I'm like, you know what? I really need to get this finished. Let's try scrubbing one more time before I use the carpet cleaner. Hopefully we can get this figured out. I really don't know what I'm doing. My husband is the only one that knows how to use this carpet cleaner effectively, but I really need to give it a try. Sure enough, he offers to do it for me. As I sit and I watch, I realize there's not really much that I can do while he is doing it. Two things that I notice is he seems to be clearing it out on the tile and rinsing out the bucket before actually using it on the carpet. And then once he clears it out, he, the spot doesn't seem to be as bad like I was getting. And then oddly satisfying enough, it magically works. Here's a better angle of the carpet cleaner doing its thing. The camera that I was using seems to have quit. So the angle that we're getting now is the carpet cleaning and it's slow motion compared to the previous camera shot. This is an oddly satisfying video, isn't it? Just look at that clean, clean carpet to the right and that dirty, dirty carpet to the left. No, the carpet on the right is not perfect and neither is this spot over here. But as we are looking at this carpet getting cleaned, it makes you wonder, can we maybe keep this carpet for another year? Nah, I really hope we get new carpet this tax season. but there is something oddly satisfying about watching it getting cleaned. And my husband is going extremely slow compared to how fast I was going, so maybe that's the trick. I'm not too sure. 
I tried moving the camera back to where it was before, but it doesn't seem like I got a very good angle. My husband continued to empty a container of all that soapy water. It's nasty, soapy, almost like sewer water. I kept going down and picking up the little clumps of hair since we do have four dogs and those hairballs do get caught up into the carpet cleaner and they're wet and nasty and smelly. But I am so glad my husband carpet cleaned this room for us. Now we can have a little bit better carpet on the ground when people come over and I don't have to have an ugly band-aid to fix it all. This is before. This is during. Doesn't it look worse? And this is the carpet after. Of course, the picture was taken with a different camera. But you get the idea. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.